The Invictus Games Foundation recent briefing with NATO's military committee marks a profound step in recognizing the needs of veterans and wounded service members, as well as the global impact of Prince Harry's work through Invictus. Addressing NATO's top brass from the military committee via video, Prince Harry underscored how Invictus isn't just about competition, but creating a meaningful rehabilitation pathway for the wounded, injured, and sick WIS veterans across the world. His steadfast commitment to those who have sacrificed so much continues to shape a compassionate and resilient vision for global veterans and the communities that support them. This moment at NATO's headquarters speaks volumes. Here is a respected, high-profile royal, once dismissed by segments of the UK press, playing a vital role in military support and mental health recovery efforts internationally. Despite relentless media attacks from the UK, particularly targeted at his wife, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, with appalling calls for Harry to leave his family, his work with Invictus rises above the noise, spotlighting his unshakable character and conviction. The Invictus Games Foundation, founded in 2014, stands today as a beacon for hope and resilience, supported and celebrated by some of the most esteemed military organizations in the world. Its role has grown beyond hosting athletes' events. It is now a multi-layered program dedicated to building a global network for WIS veterans and promoting advocacy that strengthens the support for them worldwide. Admiral Rob Bauer, chair of the NATO Military Committee, put it amply, emphasizing that the work of Invictus strikes at the heart of our shared values as military personnel. Bauer praise, echoed by other NATO leaders, recognizes Invictus as a lifeline, not only for the veterans competing, but for their families and communities, reshaping support systems in ways that extend far beyond the games themselves. Prince Harry's stature in this field is no accident. He has translated his personal military experience and deep empathy for veterans struggle into a movement that changes lives, confronting the physical and psychological scars of combat with the healing power of sports, camaraderie, and shared resilience. This approach has earned him widespread respect and a voice on critical global stages. Not as a royal figure, but as an advocate who understands the harsh realities veterans face. The irony is palpable. The UK media's denigration of him and his family only makes this, makes his influence more evident as he garners acclaims and legitimacy from international bodies. For Prince Harry, these attacks have seemingly fortified his resolve, leading to greater heights and more impactful advocacy. As he continues to break ground, build an empire of goodwill and resilience with Invictus, his actions will stand as a powerful rebuke to the media narratives that have sought to diminish him and destroy his family. 
It's a lesson for the UK establishment too. The smears may grab headlines, but they cannot overshadow the real change Prince Harry is affecting in the lives of the wounded veterans. His work has brought honor, not only to himself, but to the institutions he represents and the families he uplifts. In time, the UK may look back with regret on how its media and public figures treated this man and his wife, his family, who chose to use his platform for a cause as noble as Invictus, a cause that embodies both the dignity of service and the unconquerable spirit of those who give everything for their countries. Bravo, Prince Harry.